Now let's understand the measurement of demand using the proportionate method. Now we saw earlier that there were five situations which could happen. Let's take the one, first one first, which is that of a perfectly inelastic demand or ED is equal to zero, which means that elasticity of demand due to change in prices is zero. Let's say, let's not even draw this. Let's say the price of a commodity was 100, it increased to 200 and it increased to 300. The quantity demanded at this price <coughs> was 10, at 200 also it was 10, at 300 also it was 10. So what happened was that the change in quantity demanded was 0 as if the price increased from 100 to 200. Similarly, when the price increased again from 200 to 300, the change in the demand was 0. So in such a case, we say that the demand is perfectly inelastic, meaning that the change in the price of a commodity does not affect the quantity demanded. Change in price does not affect quantity. So, because we are using the proportionate method, so what's the proportionate change in quantity? So the change in quantity is zero vis-a-vis -vis price. Price changes from 100 to 200. So 100 upon 100 is equal to 1. Okay, 0 upon 1 is equal to 0. Now if you draw this on a graph, 0, x-axis, y-axis, let's say the x-axis refers quantity, 5, 10, 15, and y-axis refers to the price, 100, 200, 300, 400. Now if you plot points, when the price was 100, the quantity demanded was 10. When the price moved to 200, the quantity again remained 10. So 200, 10. When the price increased to 300, again the quantity demanded is 10. So if you join these points, you get a line parallel to the y-axis. Okay? which shows that even though there is an increase in the price, the quantity demanded remains the same. So this demand curve is known as perfectly inelastic demand curve. Okay.